Okay, here's how I think it works from a top-down perspective. Having hung out a little bit and had dinner with a few people and gone to a few armory shows. I'm from Texas and I own a lot of real estate and I can't get laid. <laughs> so, um, my lifelong goal of a hoarding cash has not resulted in the rewards I expected. Hookers like me, that's about it. So, I go about trying to insert myself into what is called society. And so I start collecting serious art. Not cowboy art, which is the art that I like, and which is expensive, which has its own art world where they don't really have symposia, but it exists, and I know people who make cowboy art, and it sells for high prices. But I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna buy some serious art. And if I have serious art, I can have serious art events, and I have serious art dinner parties, and serious people will come and visit my home. It's like a social activity for the hyper wealthy. And I walk in and I'm a galoot to a gallery. And I see something that looks like that. And then I walk into my dealer. And the dealer, sorry, my dealer. I think that's a Freudian slip there, if you're that guy. You need a dealer. Um, and you go, I need serious art. I feel it's important. I will have social credit. Something that rich people want that I don't understand, they will get if they have something that's serious art that they can at least put in a warehouse or put in their home and their eyes don't bleed. Like, just something that they can kind of look at and it's cool, it's like, okay, color field, great. Or it's like, I put it in the warehouse, it's an investment, but I own it, that's what's important. And they so tell me something. And the shit you hear dealers say are hilarious. I've seen, I've heard this conversation. Like, someone points to a painting and to the dealer of the painting. Like, uh, I like this one, how much is this one? And the dealer goes, I think you should buy the big one. Do you think I should? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Who does, like, anyone in this room let a salesman do that to you? I think you should buy the more expensive one. You do? Yes, I do. Okay, so like, let's get that on the table. Like, this is a, a business where the, the biggest consumers, the ones who spend the most money, are the stupidest human beings on the planet, and we can measure it by the scale of what they're willing to spend money on. 